everybody. So today I'm here to do a book review for my new Facebook group, which is called YA Clean Reads. So um, the purpose of this group is to do book reviews for parents to help them find clean fiction for their young adult readers. So um, I'm reviewing books that are targeted for young adult ages 12 to 18. Um, in a variety of genres. And so I'm only reviewing books that I've personally vetted. I'm doing actual reviews. Um, I have my own rating system for them. And so um, I'll explain all of that as I get going. But since this is the first one, I just kind of wanted to give the context. Um, so let's get into the review. Today's review is for this book. I'm pretty sure you're going to miss me, Ronan McKenzie by MJ Padgett. Overall rating, um, I give this book for story quality, five out of five book dragons, and for parental chill factor, four out of five happy penguins. Um, so story quality has to do with the story itself. Um, just was it entertaining? Was it engaging? Was it well-written? Um, parental chill factor is because I am writing these reviews primarily for parents um, or for teens who are, <laughs> uh, conscious of what their parents would be comfortable with them reading. Um, and so the parental chill factor rating has to do with, um, you know, is there any content in here that parents would be concerned about or can you chill and let your kids read it? So for this one, um, there's four out of five penguins, even though I still highly recommend this book for teens. Um, and I'll explain why I only gave it four out of five in just a minute. So overall story quality though, five out of five. I loved this book. Um, so the genre of this book is romantic comedy. Um, it is part of a series, but each book follows a different set of characters, even though the characters from book one make a cameo in book two and so on. Um, so far, there are only two books published in this series, but um, the author says that she has more books planned. So um, the premise of this book is the main character, Hazel. She's a high school, um, you know, a teenage girl in high school. And she has been dating her boyfriend for um, exactly one year. So it's, the book opens with it's their first anniversary and she has this elaborate plan for celebrating it. Um, and it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> so um, she's dumped in a really humiliating way. And so the plot of the book, the premise of the book is that she still loves him. She thinks that if she can just get his attention she can win him back. And so she hatches this really impulsive plot um, to make him jealous by grabbing some random guy um, and kissing him in front of her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend at this point. Um, but nothing goes as planned. The, the guy um, agrees with her that in exchange for her helping to get him a date for prom, he will pretend to be her boyfriend to make her ex-boyfriend jealous. And so the whole plot, the premise of the book is Hazel trying to win her ex-boyfriend back. Um, but of course, as romantic comedies go, um, there's a lot of things that happen. Nothing goes as uh, anyone expected. And in the process, Hazel discovers that she deserves to be loved for who she is rather than having to change in order to make someone else happy. And she also realizes that um, she has something much better um, right in front of her. So I love the message of this book. I love the themes of this book. I love the characters in this book. I love the story of this book. Um, honestly, I have had this book in my Kindle for a while. Um, and I put off reading it because I'm not always in the mood for, for romantic comedies, even though um, I used to write them. Um, but I kind of have to be in the mood for it. Sometimes I'm, I'm, in a more serious mood or I'm kind of in a fantasy mindset because I write a lot of fantasy. Um, honestly, it's, it's a perfect high school romantic comedy. I love this book. The love interest in this book easily makes my top five list of male YA characters of all time. I don't actually have a top five list, but I'm solid on this. I love this character and um, I know he's got to be in my top five. Um, the main character, Hazel, she's impulsive, really over the top. In fact, that's her defining characteristic in this book, um, and it's the thing that her boyfriend breaks up with her for. So it's a core element to her character, but over the course of the book, she learns how to kind of channel that 
into um, you know channeling this go big or go home mindset into a healthy thing. I love Hazel as a character as well. She has such a huge heart. She's so warm and loving of the people around her. Um, and sometimes her best intentions just go awry. And so this story, in addition to being a romantic comedy, is also the story of Hazel um, kind of coming into herself and learning her potential. This book has themes of forgiveness, of learning not to change yourself to, to make other people happy, of making peace with people who have hurt you. So true to MJ's usual style, because um, I've read several of MJ's books, um, and she does write other genres, but her romantic comedies and her, um, her teen romances, even in the fantasies, all kind of have a similar um, essence to them, I guess you would say. So um, true to her usual style, this book has lots of vibrant, really entertaining character. It also has strong family bonds and themes of found family, which is something that's in a lot of her books for characters who kind of bond together and make a family of their own whenever their home situations may not be the best. It touches on themes of deep friendships. There are a lot of just wholesome, trustworthy friends in the story, um, even though there are some characters who are not so great. And the family dynamic of Hazel's family is a really solid, tight-knit, healthy one. So it does also touch on some more serious issues. There's a side character who's dealing with a, a serious illness. And some of Hazel's friends, as I mentioned, have more difficult home lives or personal struggles um, that kind of drives them to bond to Hazel's family. But overall, the vibe of this book is really upbeat, and those side issues are handled very tactfully and realistically. The banter between Hazel and Daniel in this book is top-notch. Um, their friendship is so sweet and wholesome, and I just really, really love their relationship. And like I said, Daniel is one of my top five. Uh, YA male characters now. I just read this book yesterday, but he is uh, now on my favorite list for sure. Now to explain kind of the content warning or why I gave this four out of five happy penguins for the parental chill factor rating instead of five out of five, um, despite how much I love this book. So Hazel is a flawed character, um, realistically flawed. She begins the story with these elaborate plans to celebrate the anniversary and part of her plan that she hasn't expressed to her boyfriend yet, but it's in her mind, her plan, um, is, uh, as she mentions to a friend, this might be the night that they, like, you know, it's, it's kind of alluded to, but it's very clear what is implied. But it's also clear that Hazel's friend does not think this is a good idea. She kind of questions Hazel's judgment. And later you find out that Hazel has actually made a promise with her twin sister that they are going to wait until marriage. And so had she done this, which she ends up not going through with it, had she done this, it would have broken that promise to her sister. Overall, the way that this uh, message is handled is that Hazel's original plan would not have been a wise one. It's tied back into that overall theme of Hazel learning not to change who she is in order to try to please other people. Because she had this promise with her sister, it would have been breaking the promise. And when a friend later finds that out, the friend tells her, don't ever break that promise. No guy is worth breaking a promise to your sister. No guy is worth trying to become someone different for. So overall, I think this scenario is a realistic one. It's something teens realistically face. And I think it's handled gracefully and tactfully in the book. I think the overall message with it is very positive. Um, but given that I understand that some parents may prefer that this not be um, handled so overtly for what they're wanting their children to read, I did dot one penguin off the happy penguins rating, just in case some parents are uncomfortable with the kind of um, blunt opening of the character clearly planning this. The romance that develops later in the book is completely sweet and wholesome and 100% fits the clean just kisses categorization for the group standards that I'm, you know, holding for the reviews. I still highly recommend this book um, for teens who are ready to read about these kind of realistic high school decisions and scenarios. So, and my actual age recommendation for this book at least high school, probably 16 plus, due to my previously mentioned 
thematic content that I was just discussing. Um, but it's really a wonderful book. It's a feel good book. Um, it has a happy ending. The characters learn and grow. Um, and it's just a really, really sweet, wholesome romantic comedy for teens. So um, that's my review of this book. It's called, I'm pretty sure you're gonna miss me, Rona McKenzie by MJ Paget. And I highly recommend this book. I'm gonna drop the link where you can find it uh, down below in the description so that you can check it out for yourself if you're interested. Thanks.